you're not permitted to run ads if you sell products like this. I promise you, this is not clickbait. It is a real problem that affects a lot of businesses that sell these kind of products. And what I'm talking about are branded products. So let's say you run a boutique and you sell shoes, clothes, bags, and so on. And you stock some things like, you know, knockoff Fendi bags, even real bags from these luxury brands. If you do not have a license from the companies that make these products and own the trademarks to resell these products, you are going to have issues on Meta in general. So with your Facebook page, with your Instagram account, and with your ad account. Now, I don't just want to talk without showing proof. So I am here in Meta's advertising standard to read you the rules and explain how it could affect your business, get your Instagram account suspended, stop you from running ads permanently, and just cause a lot of heartache and damage to your business. If you want to come to the advertising standards, all you have to do is come to transparency.meta.com slash policies slash ad hyphen standards, right? Or you could just search for meta ad standards um, on Google. Now I'm over here under intellectual property infringement and it says this talks about content that infringes upon or violates the intellectual property rights of a third party or meta. What we are going to focus on is this part, the third party infringement. Ads must not contain content that infringes upon or violates the intellectual property rights of any third party, including copyright trademark or copyright trademark or other legal rights. This includes, but is not limited to, the promotion or sale of counterfeit goods, such as products that copy the trademark name or logo and um, distinctive features of another company's products to imitate a genuine product. Now, what they're basically trying to say here is what I said before. If you sell knockoff products or you sell even the real deal, maybe you're a reseller, um, you're selling the thrift versions of those products and so on, as long as you do not have a license from the main companies who own the trademarks to sell those products, you are going to get into trouble. And let me explain the kind of trouble I mean. Firstly, your Facebook page and your Instagram account can and will be taken down. I've had multiple business owners come to me and they said, oh, my Instagram account was suspended. Please, how do I get it back? And even after appealing, they do not reinstate their account because of copyright issues like this. They will tell you plainly, we found that you have some copyright violations and you violated our rules regarding intellectual property infringement and we are not able to reinstate your account, right? And that's it. All your efforts, all your hard work, weeks and months of content, maybe running ads and so on, are gone down the drain. Those accounts cannot be gotten back. The second way it can affect you is you will not be permitted to run ads. As you can see, this is talking about their advertising standards and it's right here. So sometimes you might set up an ad and the system might not pick it immediately, but then you notice that after a couple of hours of it running or days of it running, the ad is suddenly rejected, your ad account is disabled, and it can now spread to other things like your Facebook page and Instagram account, like I said before. So it's just a very, very um, risky type of business or risky type of products to be selling. It's not just about clothes, shoes, and bags, even things like wristwatches, right? So you're selling um, maybe the knockoff Rolex or the knock, um, knockoff Patek and so on. All those things can actually and will actually affect your account over time. So now what do you do if you're a business owner and these are the kind of products that you sell? I have two things to share with you or two tips that I share with my clients and you are not going to like them, okay? So the first one is you need to stop posting those type of products on your page. That's the first thing. You need to stop posting them. If you've posted them in the past, go and delete all of them. Anyone that shows the logo, anyone where you mention the name, anyone, any photo or video where there is an identifying factor that you can say, oh, this is a Chanel bag, oh, this is a Gucci bag, this is a Rolex watch, and so on. You're going to delete them all. Don't archive them, delete them, right, so that they are not in the system anymore. And then henceforth, you cannot post such things or such products anymore. So you need to focus on, on branded products that would not cause you any issues. And then when people reach out, maybe in your um, through your website, they go over to your website or they reach out in your DM, you can now tell them that you have other options available. 
Some business owners would open things like Telegram channels and communities where they can post these photos and videos without issues and then they drive their audience there or they drive potential customers to that channel to see all the products that they have in stock. So that is one option for you. The second option, and this is what I really strongly advise, is to stop selling this type of products. And I mean that strictly from the point of a marketing perspective, if you're running your business and you're relying on meta systems, because you will always have issues. It might take a while, but they will eventually still pick up that you are selling branded products and you're going to get slammed with multiple violations of intellectual property infringement. And it's just going to affect you. They'll take down your account. They'll disable your ad accounts. You would not be able to run ads. It is a whole lot of hassle, right? And that's why I'm just saying it, you know, plainly. And this is what I tell my clients. You need to stop selling these products or you need to find a way to try to bypass or circumvent their systems. And that is not advisable or sustainable. I know this is not what you want to hear if you sell this kind of products, but I just have to be honest with you so that you can avoid having issues down the line. If you found this video helpful, you're going to find my channel even more helpful because I post lots of videos on how you can run Facebook ads that get you profitable results. So please like this video, drop a comment for me and let me know if you've ever had a, an issue that involves intellectual property infringement and how you're able to solve it or if you lost your account. I will sympathize with you in the comments. You can also subscribe to my channel. I post videos like this frequently to help you run profitable Facebook ads. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.